Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the sloper that has been drafted. I'm sorry, draped, cleaned up, and I have sewn it in muslin. And um, it's not terrible. It has some issues, but it's not terrible. So the sloper as is fits the mannequin almost perfectly, just almost exactly as it was draped, which is good. But uh, we got to talk about like some places you might not actually want that. So we need to discuss this. So let's look at what we have. We have a center front seam, which as we all know is our universal constant with the center back because it's constantly going to go down center front. So you don't have to worry about like finding a place for it. It's just going to go down center front um, on the seam of the mannequin. And the rest of this fits, uh, so the, the, sorry, the bodice here with the one dart that we have, straight lines for that dart because it's the sloper dart. You can see that the side seam, and this, this is alluding to one of the problems that we have. I'll, I'll talk about it in just a second. Uh, side seam straight. It's just slightly off of the actual seam, which tilts forward, which is exactly what we want. So the straight side seam goes straight down. So splitting the difference really helped there. And on the back, um, everything seems okay on the back. Actually, I think the back is probably the success story of this. Uh, one thing I will talk about here when we get to the, well, we'll start on the front, we'll get to the back. We'll talk about where these darts are in relation to one another. And um, once we get there, it'll make more sense. Armhole looks pretty good, uh, except it's a little tight in the back. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But uh, one of the big problems that I have on here is uh, on the front. You can see, if you look at the front, you'll notice that this right here, is kicking out and it's also an issue that that tells me something that tells me that something's pulling on it from the front but i really don't have to look at this right here to tell me that i can look at the torso do you see these these are pull lines it's almost forming an X. Pull lines are, like I said, they're borrowing fabric from another part of the garment to fill in the space, but they're always pointing to where it's really too tight on the mannequin. So these are telling me exactly where the problem is. Now, the easiest way to fix this is to use a seam ripper and to cut this seam open. And what this does, watch, I can get it. Okay. 
So if I do that, my pull lines, oops, sorry, I didn't go in that. I'm gonna do this all the way over to the second dart and let that completely relax. And you'll see, it's hard, it, you can't, okay, there they go. So you can tell right now that the pull lines are gone and I've increased a little space in here. There's a little bit of space in between the mannequin, uh, in between the top and the bottom. Also, my hem is no longer kicking up. So what does that tell me as far as the sloper is concerned? It says that as it was cleaned up, as I cleaned up this line right here, and you can see right here, it's not separating right here, and it's not separating right here. It's only separating between the first dart and the center front line. So all I have to do, this is telling me that I need to add a little bit to the top of the center front line at the hem. I'm sorry, at the waist. Now, I have a couple of options here. I can do it, well, three options really. I can add to the bodice or I can add to the skirt or since it's worked for us before, I can split the difference. So what I'm gonna do is, well, let me see if I can find my little ruler. You know, I have all my supplies and then I just lose them. And it's not like I'm working at like the Astrodome or anything. It's all right here. Okay, I have a little ruler right here. And that is barely a quarter. It's really 3 sixteenths. So I'm just gonna take 3 sixteenths, split it in half, add a little bit to the skirt, add a little bit to the bodice and blend them into the first dart. So I'm going to add a little bit, let me use my pointer, my better than my zombie finger. I'm gonna add a little bit to the, to the bodice, a little bit to the skirt and blend them back into the first dart. I've cut all the way back to the second dart, but you can see, that's not separating right there. So I don't need to add right there. All I have to do is add a little bit to the skirt and a little bit to the bodice and blend it to the first dart and my problems will be fixed. And that solves my issue on the front bodice from the waist down. So now my skirt is hanging exactly the way it needs to hang. Okay, now let's look at let's see if I can get this a little bit. Okay, let's look at the bodice. Uh, fixing this, opening this down here helped. It relaxed a lot of the stress in here but it's still a little tight right through the bust. So what am I gonna do? What would we, oh, also let me just say this. This bodice was designed to have, I mean, the, the, the sloper was, has regular seam allowance on it. So what I added that one inch seam allowance, what it did was it created this fin that was pulling tension across the body. So what I did, was after it was sewn, I just clipped it. And you can see it here. And that relaxed a lot of the tension going across. So if you have big seam allowances on something, especially a sloper, where you're trying to test it out, clip it a little bit and it will help relax it. I also did it on center back, which we'll see in a second. OK. 
Okay. So I have a lot of, it's a little tight right through here. Remember, I didn't add any ease to this, hardly. So, um, well, at all, really. So what I'm going to do is, now it's not tight through here. It's fine through here. It's just through here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the stitching up. And I'm going to relax that stitching. And by magic, I now have, I can take a little pinch of it. There's plenty of ease in there. So all I have to do with this, let's get a pin cushion. I had all this stuff prepared. What am I doing? I have a pin cushion on the mannequin, don't I? Yeah. Forget I didn't do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just relax that and I'm gonna move my pin out a little bit. So instead of uh, see it's even too tight, instead of pinning all the way to my actual sewing line, I'm gonna add about a quarter of an inch in there. So you can see here, pointer, here's my original line, and here's where I have pinned to sort of take it out. Now basically what I'm doing is I am relaxing all of this up to that point because I didn't need it down here. This is fine. I don't really want to too much at the waist. Although if you wanted to, now is the time to do it. So I'm going to pin this tapering to the waist. Like that. And I'm also going to do it on the other side, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So this fits a lot better. It's already floating over the body the way it should. And so that's the, that's the ease I have. Now, like I said, at this point, it's easier for me to figure it out on the mannequin than it is to sort of figure it out on paper. And this lets you know that the ease you're putting in is correct rather than saying, oh, I'm going to add half an inch all the way around and be done with it. Because the ease that you put in is what is wanted for the design and necessary for the customer. Uh, the ease around the skirt here, it's about an inch, which is fine. Around here, you can see I can still move the skirt. See that? So I've got plenty of ease in there. Uh, the darts look okay. They're a little boxy. That's probably just how I've sewn them. Um, so the front's looking a lot better. It's The armhole feels a heck of a lot better. It's a lot smoother. And I can put my finger in here and run my finger around. And that lets me know that there's enough ease in here to be comfortably worn. And we, we, know, we know what this issue is, so we don't have to worry about that. At bus points where it needs to be. Neck. I can still move it with my finger, so it's okay. Shoulder seems okay. Front hem. Well, that's neither here nor there. doesn't really matter what the length is. Everything looks okay so far on this. Okay. So the front, that's where I thought we'd have the most problems, it actually looks pretty good. Um, everything is, with fixing this, fixing the side seam right here, fixing this, that's what we need to fix because that was pulling all the tension, immediately solved all of our problems. We don't have to redraft anything. We just have to add a little bit to the center, um, to the center front on both the bodice and the skirt, and that's completely fixed. Um, yeah, bus point looks fine, dart looks fine, intake looks fine, everything looks pretty good. I mean, it fits the mannequin the way it's supposed to fit the mannequin with these little changes. So that is 
we're good to go there. Now, the back. The back has a couple of problems. One of the problems is um, this armhole, let's do this side, this armhole, well, by adding that ease right here, we've sort of fixed this too, because this armhole was a little tight and now it's fine. So let me pull this in a little bit so you can see the seam allowance. If I tuck the seam allowance in, and then once, once I'm done with this, I'll show you, I'll talk to you about how to actually sew this up if you wanted to. So you can see, like where this is on the body. Um, when I do a sloper, I don't exaggerate the armhole out too much because I can do that in a pattern. Um, I can extend this out a little bit if I need to. So, you know, it's not really that big of an issue. So I can take this armhole and make it out to here if I want like put it out to here, or I can take it in even further. I'm still going to need to add contour lines to this and get it all perfect and stuff later on, but that's a pattern making thing. That's not a draping thing. And um, yeah, so this armhole looks pretty good. It doesn't feel too, too tight. It feels a little tight through here but it's not terrible. I can still get my finger through here. And that's, that's how I'm testing the ease on this. I'm just taking my finger and I'm running it around here and I'm getting a little resistance to the shoulder, which I could fix. And I'll show you how to do that in a second, but it's not bad. Like there's still plenty of room in there. It might just need it towards the neck and we'll, we'll go ahead and correct that while we're here. But this feels pretty good in here. It's not terrible but adding this little amount of ease really fixed all of that prop, all those problems. And you can see with this that, you know, because we, well, I guess I did, uh, because we did such a good job draping this because we sort of like cleaned up all of our lines and made everything the way it needed to be. We don't have that many corrections, very simple corrections like this. This is easy. I'm going to, I'll probably just put the paper up here and show you how to draw that. It's really just the width of the marker, really. Um, and that's probably what the problem was, uh, you know, just going up a little bit here, going down a little bit there and boom, it's fixed. Also, um, this just taking this out here. So it's like, if you do the drape correct from the beginning, you won't have a whole lot of problems. Now, if you drape this and you clean up the pattern and you take it and you take it into muslin, you put it back on the mannequin and you've got a billion problems you need to go back to the original drape because your original drape is going to be your big issue um, because you did something wrong in the beginning. But like I said, this is just the pencil width. This is just, you know, adding a little bit once you get it on the mannequin. That's nothing. These are nothing issues. Uh, the back though, this is, this is sort of something you'll have to sort of reconcile for yourself. When you look at this and you tell me, this is hanging down relatively straight. The thing is, if this was pushing in like this, if this was pushing in like this or sticking out like that, we'd have to correct it the same way we did with the front. But if, if it was sticking out, we'd have to correct it the same way because that means it's pulling up right here and we need to relax it. But if it's relaxed too much and it's kicking in to the mannequin, you need to undo this seam and you need to pull this up a little bit. I don't have to do that because it actually looks really good on the seat. Um, so you just have to be careful with that. If you had to do the opposite of, of what the front was doing, like if this was kicking in too much under the seat, 
you'll need to undo where I did on the front. And again, I don't have any pull lines back here, so that's telling me everything's fine um, as far as being too tight is concerned. So it's not too tight, but you won't have pull lines if there are, if it's kicking in like this, what you'll have is a cowl effect. It'll be like a, like a line going across like this, like an arc. And that will tell you that you have too much fabric right here. You need to undo this seam and pull it up until this straightens up and gets perpendicular to the floor, okay? So that's how you'd correct for that. Um, the back here, I can still ripple it across. So with that ease I've added on the side, it's okay. Like I said, all of this is okay, but we're going to touch that shoulder in just a second. Um, oh, let's talk about this. The dart placement on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a suggestion. So here is the first dart. That's the first dart right there. Okay, that's the first dart. The second dart is right there. Now, when I drafted this, I'm technically correct, which is the worst kind of correct. I have a space that is technically correct away from the first dart. However, aesthetically, it's bothering me. I don't like it right there. What I'm going to do is move this over just a little bit on the draft. So I'm going to move my dart center or dart leg, second dart leg, right there. That way when this gets sewn, I'll get a line that instead of being this close, is that close. And that to me looks better. If I left it alone where it is, it's fine. It's technically correct. There's nothing wrong with it. But this is bothering me visually, and I want to change it. And also in flat one, you'll learn you can take these two darts and consolidate them into one dart. But we're not going to do that here. Um, and you'll also see that I did clip back here because I was getting some mad tension uh, because this was not designed to have a fin sticking out of it. Okay? So there's clipping here. Okay, let us focus on. Let me get the shoulder. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's focus on the shoulder right now. When I sew this, I want to make sure that I have plenty of ease. Well, I don't want there to be too much tension. This isn't a soap opera. Okay. So I've just taken apart this seam, leaving it stitched right here, and I'm just going to relax where I put my pin. I'm only going up like an eighth of an inch, and already that feels incredible. It feels way better. Put my finger in here, smooth, easy, no resistance whatsoever. So just by adjusting that a little bit to an eighth of an inch and then tapering down to the shoulder over here. Yeah, it feels a heck of a lot better. There's a little bit of tension right here. Let's see if I can just kill that all together. So if I take the pins out, all of them, do that, what's it telling me? Okay. It's basically just telling me to move that up. Now, because this is a sloper, we don't really want this to be a curve. 
So we want to make sure that there's still, you see what's happening? I got plenty of give in there and it's not disrupting anything else. It's just nice and smooth in here. And you see what I'm doing? I don't know if you can see that, but when I can do this, I'm sort of like moving. I can move this around a little bit. That's what you want. That's just enough ease for that. Okay, well, that's basically fixing all of my problems. Um, so that fixes the back, because now that's, I can move the back a little bit more. It hasn't really affected the armhole size, except for over here, but because we, we did our job and we equalized the armholes beforehand, we can add whatever we want. Let's see, since we equalized our armholes, we can add whatever we want right here. And they'll, you know, as long as we're consistent, if we add a quarter here and a, and a quarter here, we'll be fine and it should be okay. Uh, back looks good, waist. There's not a whole lot of room in the waist. If we wanted to, well, let me raise her up. Okay, there's not a whole lot of room in the waist. Um, so if we want, we could kill this a little bit and add a little bit of ease in the waist. Okay, if I just pull this out, again, this is like an eighth of, I don't even know if it's an eighth of an inch. And then just pin down. You can see, I like the way the skirt fits because I've got about an inch of ease in here already. See, oh yeah, and that fits way better. There's already on the back, you can see, I can move it. I couldn't do that before. So again, it's like, it's, that's it. I mean, that's all we had to do. It's just a couple of little tweaks. Count your blessings, because if you're doing this on a human being, you can have a lot more than this, but um, this is okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this with marker, just so I don't lose it. Just to the outside of that line, blending. I'm going to mark this. Tapering down to the new waist mark right there. Then I'll get the back in a second. I need to add half of 3 16 And I need to add half of 3 16 right there to the center. I'm just making some notes on the mannequin. That way I don't lose it. Okay, this I'm raising the shoulder up by an eighth and tapering down to nothing. Okay. Here I'm moving this dart over so I don't forget that. And everything else looks pretty good. See, if you can do this, if you can move the muslin on there and the whole thing moves, it's okay. That means you have plenty of ease. Now, if you get to the point where you do this, you do this and the whole thing comes up, you've got too much ease and you don't want to do that. All right, so that's basically it. Now, as far as correcting the pattern is concerned, how do we do that? Well, so here is my here's my skirt. Raise her up a little bit. Okay. So here is my skirt. So where I need to raise is right here at center front. So I'm going to measure, and again, I'm working in marker so you can see it. And this is awkward because I'm up here. Well, let's tell you what, let's do this. 
question about that. Okay. So here, I'm going to measure half of 3 16th, which is just a little bit more of an A, or it's just a little generous eighth. Right there. Like that. And then with my ruler, which I'm not using, I'm going to blend into that first dart. Now I need to, now that I know that's my correction, what I would do is, well, theoretically, make another muslin. Once I mark everything on all my pieces, I'd make another muslin to double, double, double check it. However, I'm comfortable enough with these little tweaks that I'm not going to redo a second muslin for this. I'm just going to then, once I get all my corrections done, clean this up with the ruler. We should do that anyway. I'm going to put this on oak tag, and then I can go ahead and cut this out of an oak tag, and I will have a sloper for this mannequin. Um, the other thing that we did over here was we added about an eighth of an inch down to the hip. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to add an eighth of an inch, and I'm going to taper it down to the – I'm going to add an eighth of an inch to the side seam and taper it down the smooth curve towards the hip, and that will take care of that ease. For the front bodice, I'm going to raise the, the, the shoulder, I'm sorry, I'm, yeah, raise the shoulder up an eighth, taper it down to the shoulder tip at the armhole, and then I'm going to add that eighth all the way down to the waist. And that will take care of the junction between the bodice at the side seam and the skirt at the side seam. Okay. Everything else was pretty good. Um, I'm also going to right here, because I'm going to that first dart, I'm just going to lower this a little bit and then just bring it back into this. And that will take care of that little gap right there. On the back, I'm going to remember to do the exact same thing on the side seam. And I'm going to move that dart. And you know how to move a dart. We've done that 20 times. So all I have to do is take this dart right here, redraw the line, and then just redraw the distance between it, and then blend that shape. Blend the uh, fold this like that. And then blend that curve into the side seam. Fold it like this. Sorry. I can't tell what's in frame. And then just blend the curve into the new dart position. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do to correct this. There's nothing else about this that needs to be corrected. Um, I, I mean, I can think of lots of other issues. And, of course, I'm making this for a mannequin. I'm not making this for a human being. So obviously she has zero body fat. She has, she doesn't breathe. I don't have to worry about her complaining. I just stuck a pin in her. Um, but the thing is, it's like once you start to run into a lot of other issues, that's when you really need to start focusing on custom fitting this thing. When you need to start um, analyzing like the drape of where you're like analyzing the drape in relation to the body. And that's when you have to start really just, kind of draping on the person at one point. So uh, what I would suggest is that if you are doing this for a human being and you really should just start with the drape on them and, or if you have a mannequin that's close enough to them, start with that and then just give yourself plenty of seam allowance everywhere to make any adjustments you need. Uh, when you sew this mannequin, when you sew the muslin, like the, the demo for the muslin, you want to use a longer stitch, like about a three, because it's easier to rip it. You also want to stitch all of your, um, oops, you also want to stitch all of your, uh, I don't know if you can see that, all of your seam allowance. That way you know exactly where it lands. That way there's no second guessing it. Your neck, your armholes, your, even your hem. Um, you want to go ahead and mark your hem 
with stitching. That way you know exactly where that, where that goes, okay? So at this point, uh, I'm comfortable with all my changes. I'm comfortable with the way it fits. I'm gonna make this up in oak tag. Um, and then uh, I'll make the pattern up in oak tag and it will be good to go for a sloper. I can use this as a sloper for this mannequin. And I might just, I don't ever keep slopers. Um, I never I never use slopers anymore. So I might just keep this on file just in case. Okay, so that really covers everything like sort of like from soup to nuts on slopers. So just remember that keep all your, you know, keep your darts straight, keep your, you know, your center front, your center back set, and you'll be okay. Now, as far as what your assignment is for this, you have a quiz that is now active on Canvas, and you need to take that quiz before next Monday at, um, I think it's Monday. You have until next Monday at 5.30 to take that quiz. There's 10 questions, and it should take you about five minutes if you've been paying attention. Uh, but it's pretty much open book, so you can go through any of these lessons. And I think I've covered most of everything in this video. Um, you know, thinking about, like, you know, the darts on front are smaller than the darts in the back. You'll have to look at the video where we did that to, you know, double check the measurements. And, you know, just little things about draping and little things about slopers and just take that quiz and that will be your daily grade for this section. Uh, normally we'd have had a couple of little daily grades for this, but I'm, I've condensed it down to one because I just, I can't check work on slopers for mannequins that you might or might not have. So that is everything for today. If you have questions about, it's a short class today. So uh, I'm giving you the rest of the evening to uh, take your quiz. I suggest you do it today, get it over with and um, turn that puppy in. That way you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's just a short class today. So if you have questions, about the qu if you have questions about what's on the quiz, I will not answer them. You can look back at the videos and kind of, uh, well, I don't know, learn how to do this. Uh, but if you have questions about anything else in the class, by all means, you can ask me via email or chat. And um, next week, we start a new lesson that we will start online and finish in class, hopefully. So um, unless there's any like things that happen between now and then, we will be in class in a couple of weeks. So we're going to start the project we're going to be working on um, next week, which we're still online next week. Don't kid yourself. We're still online next week. And we'll be doing uh, a dress. We'll be doing a torso dress that goes from the shoulder to the hip without a waist seam. So uh, this will, um, you can finish up your sloper. You can take the rest of the class tonight to take your quiz. It's active on Canvas. I suggest you do that to get it over with so it's all fresh in your mind. And I will see you all virtually, I'll see you uh, next uh, Monday for our brand new lesson, which we're gonna be talking about uh, basic dresses and torso figures with double-ended darts, yay, okay? I will talk to y'all later. Bye.